My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This is a really nice car, folks. It's a 1955 Chevy 210. It's been body off the frame restored. It's got a 355 Chevy motor with a four speed in there, or disc brakes. Got a lot going for it, but just also a really nice car. I just sat in it and uh, drove it around. I just wiped it down. It's just straight. It looks great, feels great. Got a nice car here. Go to volocars.com and that's where you can read all the specs. You can study all the pictures top to bottom and you'll find price tags on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, I was really happy when this car arrived. It, it was, uh, uh, met all my expectations for sure. But anyway, the body has been off the frame. The whole underbody is all metal. There's no rust. The braces, the floors, the rockers are all metal. And it's painted this color. It's not this smooth and glossy, but the floors are all painted this body color. The chassis is all redone and it's all painted black. Uh, front end was all rebuilt and apart. Uh, new shocks all around. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's clean, has a chrome oil pan, the starter and the fuel pump look new. It's a T10 four-speed transmission, uh, Hurst shift linkage, of course the clutch was replaced also. In uh, back, the rear end was rebuilt, has 373 gears in it. Uh, the drive shaft has new U-joints, that was rebuilt. Uh, the fuel system was replaced, you know, all the tank, the sending unit. Uh, redone. The brake system was all redone, rebuilt drums in back, uh, upgraded to disc in front. Uh, dual exhaust system has thrush hush mufflers, what the name on the side of the mufflers are. Uh, so just a really nice uh, underside. No rust, <clears throat> everything's rebuilt. It's pretty nicely uh, painted up and cleaned up and detailed. So the body, I mean, just looking at it, it has a stance, has the color, it's straight. I mean, it, it really shows well, it shows better than well, it shows fantastic. The body has no rust. Uh, I'm looking at the hood, it's straight, no issues, fits real nice all around. They rust up here over the headlight buckets, there's no issues. This is fantastic, absolutely straight, not a ripple, none at all. There's gaps, are all right on the money, no rust, this rocker, it's all smooth, no rust, a few water drops, it was raining when we pulled it in, we just wiped it down, all clean metal, absolutely straight, the door fits beautifully, nice, I love that, trunk fits beautifully, square and flush, beautiful, straight, Body's amazing. I can't fault the body at all. I don't see anything to tell you what's wrong with the body. The roof is beautiful. Now with that said, the paint job shows really well. You're gonna walk up to it, your neighbor's gonna walk up to it and say it's gorgeous. There are some imperfections though. On the trunk lid, it actually looks like there's a little bit of wetness uh, on the trunk, like little little pimples in the paint in a few spots. It looks like I missed it when I wiped it down. So a few imperfections on the trunk. The metal flake, it's all, it's tiny metal flake. It's all laid out real nice and evenly. And there's actually flames, like ghost flames. They go all the way back there. Here's some flames. They're on the hood. Very tastefully done. I don't always like flames. I love them on this car. They did a great job. That paint's all beautiful. This paint's all beautiful. All the chrome was replaced and stainless was restored. So this emblem, the entire grill, the bumper, bumper guards, uh, the bezels, the entire headlight assembly, everything up here has been replaced. The wheels are new, uh, like 30, 40 miles ago. 
They're uh, Daisy, American Racing Daisy wheels. Uh, they're seven inch wide in front, nine inch wide in back. Uh, Raptor tires, still has the nubs on the tread. They were just installed. All this stainless trim, again, straightened and polished. So all this stuff is beautiful. Door handles are shiny. The glass is all nice and clear. A few light scratches in the back window, but it's real nice. Yeah, really, there's some problem spots up here, and that's really about all I had seen. Tail light assemblies are new. Rear bumpers re-chromed. Got nice, uh, looks like stainless tips there. Got the optional trim around the fuel door. It even feels real slick. <clears throat> that door shuts nice the rubber gasket's new the mirror looks new so outstanding uh, exterior and underside let's open it up and go through the inside before I open the trunk this is a perfect opportunity to try and show you the imperfections I was talking about it looks like I had a wet rag and kind of didn't wipe it all off, but that's what, what's going on in the trunk here in a few spots. And really, this is the only area I noticed it uh, on is right here. And when you're looking at the car as a whole, you don't see it. But I also wanted to point out where the lights are hitting the paint. It has a pop. I don't want to say pink, uh, but it's got a nice bright uh, pop of color where the uh, lights hit it. Beautiful color. Uh, I've thought that all along. Look at the clean metal, all painted, and this is really nice quality. It's missing the rubber mat, but that's the easy part. All new wiring throughout the whole car. Look at that, no rust, painted nice. New weather strip, new rear seat divider. Because it's a hot rod, personally, I like it when they're carpeted. Uh, you can buy the original rubber mat, but... Some nice custom carpet would be real sharp. You can see the door jams are painted real nice and slick. Weather strips are replaced. Door panels done neatly. You can just tell it's a professionally made door panel. There's no warps. The stitching's real nice. The hardware, window cranks, all that's real nice. All the metal inside the car is painted up real sharp. Same slickness uh, as the exterior there is a scratch right here but boy it's beautiful and all the trim has been replaced speedometer all that looks good got a hot rod tachometer and an old school uh, uh, style steering wheel like from the 70s hot rod steering wheel then down below the dash if you can catch that we got a couple extra gauges there like a vintage style it's got a cassette stereo, comes with a cassette too, and uh, damn Yankees. It's got some 6x9 speakers in the back. You can kind of catch a glimpse below the dash, the heater box and kick panels and the insulation pad, the pedals, all that's real nice. New uh, dimmer switch on the floor. A four-speed Hurst shifter. Oh, glove box light works. The seats... They're out of like a 67 Chevelle, something like that, but they're nice, nice and firm. Again, professionally upholstered. You can just tell the quality in the upholstery. Carpet's all redone. The trim on the seats are real nice. Back seats all upholstered to match. Side panels are all done to match. Yeah, very nice quality, very tidy, very clean. Then up here, the headliner, like a cloth material, no wrinkles. I keep saying professionally done. You can just tell the difference in the nooks and crannies and corners. It's straight, it fits. Visors are redone. The welting all around the door opening uh, is replaced. Very tidy car. You have tacky cars and you have tidy cars. This one's tidy. The wheels, they're 17 inch. 
uh, wheels. I told you they're seven inch wide in front, nine inch wide in back. Performance tires. All right, we got a 350 motor. It's bored out to a 355. Got a little hotter cam. It's got HEI ignition, Holly carburetor. It's got a set of headers, Edelbrock intake, Mickey Thompson vintage style valve covers. It's got the stainless uh, coverings on the hoses. Engine bay is painted real nice. It's got a new set of horns. All new wiring. Chrome alternator, although the chrome's peeling off. Uh, it does have power brakes. It has electric wipers. Uh, they came uh, standard with vacuum wipers, but they are electric. So you got what I'd call a show quality motor compartment. I'd open this up and be proud of it. It shows, looks nice. And clean and simple. Now not only do I really like this car, I respect this car. It's hard to tell without being here in person, but it, it's just done right. Everywhere you look, like I, I talked about how the interior fits, how straight the body is. How nice these doors shut, uh, how the car runs, you know, just the way it accelerates, it just everything about it. I have a lot of respect for this car. Someone's going to get a really good one here. So I suggest you go to volocars.com, talk to a salesman. I gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific concerns or questions, ask them. They'll help the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your driveway, and they can help you get uh, real affordable uh, finance monthly payments. That's at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and click that bell icon so you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.